Hey everybody, it's Aisa, not Asia. And today I wanted to share with you guys my experience at the Afrolicious Hair Affair uh, in LA 2017. Uh, if you are in LA or came to this event in prior years, you would have known that I was on the panel two years ago um, with a couple of other people. I think uh, Cash TV, is her name Cash? Tash TV, something like that, and uh, C Key, C Key, yeah, uh, confidence is key. Um, we were on there a couple of years ago. This year, they had celebrities on the panel. Um, Kimberly Elise was there, um, and some other people who I kind of recognize, but still, I don't really know. Um, but it was a good time. I did not take any pictures with anyone. Um, I didn't even get any pictures of myself, and I was looking pretty cute. I'm not even making it up. My hair was really nice and I had on one of my Fit Natural uh, sweatshirts, you know, to draw attention to it so that people could keep asking me about it, which is exactly what happened because it was so cute, you know, kind of off the shoulder short sort of sweater thing, um, sweatshirt thing. It was really cute. Um, but like I said, uh, I didn't have a car. I was two to three hours late. And since I've been, I guess, kind of off the natural hair scene, um, I don't really know any of the newer people. Um, not even vloggers or anything. I'm not even sure if there were any bloggers or vloggers there um I just uh just from the regular meetups that I used to go to I would al always know someone but this time I just didn't know one single person in the whole freaking room except for the girl who throws it which is Ronda Ray right um so I was alone I went alone I was a little bit lonely but I had a good time still you know walking around chit-chatting with the vendors and things like that um so I basically put all my time into shopping I was not there very very long um but I did pick up some things that I thought were pretty cute and I'm gonna share those things with you so let's get going We'll start with my smaller bag. Okay, one of the first things that I got was something from this place. Uh, what is it called? Uh, it's an Ayurvedic, is that the right way to say it? Uh, product called Earth, Ele Earth Element Hair Oil, okay? And I'll probably wind up doing a, uh, a review or something on this later on. I did purchase it. I did purchase almost everything here. Uh, people were not about giving me stuff for free to uh, to review. They were not about it. Um, but yeah, this Earth Element Tribal Hair Oil is uh, all natural and basically I got drawn into it because I saw pictures of people, you know, with like no edges and then edges, okay? Filled in. Or like really thin hair where you can see all the parts in between their dreads and then like thickness and lusciousness of dreadliness, you know what I mean? So I was like, all right, I'm always looking for something to thicken up and something definitely to ever fill in these edges, all good, because I have very fine hair, so thickness and filling in all about, you know, that, that, that's, what, that's what I'm about. So, um, like I said, this is Ayurvedic. It is, uh, it is coconut oil based, all right? Um, it's got some good stuff in here. Gooseberry, aloe vera, holy basil, uh, Whatever. Like I said, I will probably wind up either doing a review on it or some sort of a challenge where I keep putting it on to see if I get any results. And I guess we'll see how that goes in the future, so stay tuned for that. Prima Nature was there, <laughs> and they were giving out free stuff. I wish I could have stolen more stuff. Okay, I guess it's not stealing when they're giving it away for free, but it is stealing when you try to get a little bit more than they were trying to give you. I really should have stole a ton of these, but I don't. I think that I thought this was like a sticker. <laughs> this is so flat and round or whatever. But it is 100% uh, pure argan oil. Uh, boost, it boosts conditioning, and it locks in moisture, okay? We're going to freaking see, okay, little Miss uh, Prima Nature. So I have this. I have the Pudding Perfection Curl Enhancing Cream. Um, I don't have any curls, but I'm assuming it's going to moisturize for me. So we're going to see how that goes as well. And I got two of their leave-in hair milks. And those were free. Yay, cream of nature. Because I didn't get diddly squat else free. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Okay. Um, this company is Kinetic Essentials. Um, I purchased two bottles of their Muscle Rub. They had a lot of uh, pretty simple uh, natural products over there, but, you know, there's only so many 
jars of shea butter that a person can have and try or need and want. Um, so it's always good to see like other things out there. So these muscle rubs, me and my husband are always in some sort of pain. I have horrible feet. Something is really wrong with my feet um, where my heels are always aching and my husband's had lots of surgeries and he's always in some sort of pain. So muscle rubs, we are all into that. Um, they did have the big bottles, uh, but I got these sample bottles because they were a dollar a piece, one for me and one for him. Um, pretty good ingredients with this as well. Eucalyptus, peppermint, menthol, crystal, clove, garlic, rosemary, uh, those sorts of things. And we're going to test these out and see if they work um, for us anyway. I'm not saying that they don't work just because they don't work for us, but we are going to see. And yes, I did purchase these. So uh, if I do do a review, it will be my true and honest feelings and thoughts, okay? Okay, now this is so cute. It's all in, like tied up in a little burlap bag. And I remember this lady specifically. She was very, very kind. Uh, very, I don't know. You ever meet those people and they're like so warm and you just, you just like them. So uh, I just really like the lady uh, that ran, ran this uh, table. Uh, the table's called Tribal Walks. And yeah, she had, you know, butters and things of that nature. But she had soaps. And soaps get me excited because... I don't know, it's so interesting, uh, the things, the different types of herbs and things that can be put into things that just make them, you know, have all these special powers, right? So this soap uh, was one of the two top choices that I had out of all of her soaps because I was trying to be cheap because, you know, I'm broke, you know what I mean? Um, but I love this because of the milky side of it. Um, it just, it smells so freaking good. I can't remember what, and it doesn't have it on here. It does not tell me exactly the scent that I chose, but it's got these beautiful flowers uh, made inside of it. I'm not sure what kind of flowers they are. I don't know if they're dandelions or, I don't know. Uh, they appear to be yellow, and it's just beautiful, and it just smells so, so good. So I decided on this one, um, and it was a toss-up between another type of soap that she had. The other one was... It was a round soap and it had a honeycomb in it. So it was like the honey scented one. And the, I mean, I smelled it. It was so good. So between those two scents, I had a hard time uh, choosing exactly which one to pick. But yeah, I got the, the milkier seeming one. All right. And this is the last thing that I have in this bag. And what is, I got all kind of paper. I'm like, uh, I don't want it to fall. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, this was from... Derm Appetite. So the woman that runs this is an esthetician. Um, and... She had a lot of natural, uh, you know, soaps, powders, things of that nature, oils. Um, but I opted for this. This is a facial cleansing pad, okay? Because I bought some from, like, Rite Aid to cleanse my face, and they hurt so bad. They're so rough and so abrasive. So I need something that has a little bit of, you know, abrasion to it uh, to, to get rid of some of the dead skin and stuff, but not something that's going to, you know, make me bleed. So this is a polyester blend, and I don't know if you guys can see, it's like all nice and, you know, fuzzy and soft. Um, definitely, I could see that it could help to remove dead skin and impurities and things from the skin without causing any bleeding. Bloodshed is never a good thing in a facial uh a facial cleansing pad so um this is soft and it was cute and it was only about two or three dollars i can't remember which one but fairly cheap and soft and i thought it was a good buy so i'm gonna be checking that out very soon all right so now i have my huge bag this bag was given okay first of all there is a person there that was selling stuff and if you purchase something he gave you this giant bag which is great okay because walking around with all those little bags is annoying so i was able to put so many things inside of this big bag that he gave me um and let us get into this little purple bag and see what i got oh okay you know what all right this was purchased from the last vendor that I went to for the evening. Um, my husband was calling me. He's like, I'm outside. You ready to go? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. So um, she had a lot of different kinds of jewelry and things. Um, and I did not particularly feel like much of it was my style because a lot of it was gold and I don't really do a lot of gold. And I, for some reason, think that wearing gold and silver at the same time is bad luck. Somebody told me that. I've always been weird about it. Um, but I did really like this ring. And I think I liked it because for some reason it just reminds me of something very regal. And I've never had a, uh, you know, a ring that took up, you know, this much space and things like that. Like, I just thought it was trendy and cool and cute. So, yeah, it's gold, but I'm like, yeah, I can swing with this. What do you guys think? 
when I was leaving, I was telling her I'm not so extremely blingalicious, um, uh, w you know, with the gold and things like that. And I, yeah, because I just feel like I am not really all that super classy, you know, for a certain style. And she was like, girl, you got to get some bling. She was like, okay, I'm going to give you something. If I give you something, will you promise to either use it or wear it or give it away to someone? And I said, yes. So she gave me this blinged out comb. Okay. And I'm going to give it a whirl and see if I can incorporate a comb into a style at some point. Um, or if not, I will give it to someone. I will honor my promise because she was kind enough to give me that for free. She was a sweetheart. Her company is called She Is. She does not currently have a website, but I will inform you guys because we're now Facebook friends. I'll let you guys know when she does actually have her website up and running. Next bag from my big bag. Let's see. Okay, and this company is Curly, Reclaim Your Curl. And I remember being over here uh, as well because they had a lot of products and, you know, so many people had so many products, a lot of them being very similar. So I'm always looking for something that's a little bit different uh, to give me, you know, something that I've never really had or seen or used before. So um, it was a toss up between their, uh, mm, it was some sort of a co-wash product that they had or this clean dirt, okay? And she was like, you might as well get the clean dirt. So, Russell Clay and Bentonite Clay are the basis of this uh, cleanser. So, it's like uh, basically a mug wash. And I don't know if you could see kind of like the oils inside and the mud. So, it's got some good ingredients. It's got Russell, the Bentonite, rosehip, basil, rosemary tea tree, uh, aloe vera juice and some other things so it's supposed to be cleansing of course we know that those clays uh, give you all kinds of life with your curls which is what we love so I'm hoping that this is going to do really really great things for me she actually told me after I purchased that uh, when I told her about Fit Natural, she asked about my, my sweatshirt that I was wearing because I was pimping myself out, right, with my shirt. Um, and I told her that I had a fitness group, a large fitness group and all this and all that. And she was like, oh man, I, I would have told you to get the co-wash because it really, really works well with people who wash their hair often because of working out. But I did not get that because um, I could only afford one. I can't remember the price. I don't know if I even asked the price. I was trying to, you know, be one of those people. Um, but yeah, so I got that and I'll be working on trying out their co-wash. Maybe, hopefully they'll send me one. Hey, Curly. And last but not least, oh my gosh, I know you guys are like, oh my God, that's all she got? Yes, I'm bored, y'all. Um, this is the guy that actually gave away the bag and what I purchased from him. First of all, I got stopped uh, like dead in my tracks because he was right next to uh, this this grandmother and granddaughter that were uh, selling these denim purses that the little girl had made so cute but I could not afford a bag and coming from their bag to a t-shirt table to this guy's table where I just saw this bag with this banging looking um black girl with dreads and it was she was so pretty so striking like it just made me stop at the table but i knew i could not buy a bag and her face was not available on this so i got this honey instead what girl yes okay isn't she beautiful can i get rid of some of this light whatever I'll bring it in closer i am so excited about this mug okay um, on the back it says proclaim prepare and prosper okay and on the table it said what shades of color and this guy's website okay he has uh planner books and uh magnets these banging purses like i was telling you like so many different things with this beautiful black art on it um and you can get that at shades shadesgifts.com i'm reading it off the bag um and he's the guy who gave me the giant bag as well so i love this cup and that is all the stuff that i bought um this was my next to most expensive purchase so this the the mug was 12 dollars. the bags were 24 um and the most expensive thing that i got was 16 dollars, which was that ayurvedic uh oil for you know thickening up my hair and my edges and stuff so um i'll read some of these cards and let you see some of the cards that were there some of the other companies that i may have not have purchased things from but they were still there first uh this is where i got the ayurvedic oil from uh gn to gn.com uh five elements 
and they have, you know, it's pretty spiritual sort of things going on here um, as far as their products. Um, and like I said, the website is G2N, GN to GN.com, go natural to go natural. All right, and next up we have uh, ethnic earrings and that is ethnicearring.com uh, $10 earrings free shipping and you can see some of the styles of earrings that they have here on their card uh, I also received an affirmation from Kimberly Elise Naturals uh, that is the lady from Set It Off she was there she did speak and everything and she actually has a table where she was selling products uh, I could not afford any of her products but I did get the card um, she has some pretty good information about natural hair and natural oils and uh, helpful things of that nature so um, pretty interesting and you can check out her products at Kimberly Elise Naturals com I also got this from Deborah's artistic expressions uh, and her website is Deborah's art expressions uh, you can check out some of her art I believe that she was probably selling uh, jewelry yes she was original artwork and hand painted and crafted earrings okay tribal walks that is the woman that had the soap uh, the one that I bought and the one that had the honey comb inside of it that I talked to you about uh, Rashida Dove and she is at uh, tribewalks.com all right the natural beauty bag by A&N collection these are the bags that I was telling you about made by the grandmother and granddaughter um, do you see the the beautiful faces that they were able to put onto these and these uh, bags are all like denim uh, they look like a pair of jeans just sitting there folded up and then you're like oh it's a bag um, and they're like little shoulder not shoulder little hip bags uh, and pouches and things like that but just like really cute really really innovative um, yeah and they do not oh they do have a website a dash in collection dot com or you could hit them at this phone number 1-800-891-1153 epiphany soaps and blends uh, is it me or do their products look like delicious desserts okay they have some pretty good looking stuff but like I said my money was low so their website is epiphany soaps and blends dot com uh, and their number is 562-788-7254. Um, and we got some other deliciousness on the back. Like, come on. Doesn't that seem like ice cream or dessert or something? These things are great. So uh, you can swing by. You can check out Epiphanies. Kinetic Essentials. We've already kind of seen their card. This is where I got the uh, muscle rub for me and my husband from. And... Let me see. Their website is kineticessentials.com. All right. Uh, this is not a product, but this is, I know there's a group on meetup.com called Nappy Wood. Um, this is the Nappy Wood dance party uh, for December 18th of this year on Crenshaw Boulevard, 8 to midnight. It is $10 and it is it's looking like it's going to be pretty fun. I might swing by this. Who who want to go? Because I'm not going to no more events by myself. Okay? And that's it. And until the next time, I love you guys. And I can't wait to talk to you again. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I might make a part two with some of the footage. But we'll see. But while you are still here, why don't you swing by and check out my previous video? You can also check me out on my gossip, rant, and reality TV review channel, Miss Bushback. And I got a lot of exciting things going on with my fitness group that I'll be talking about on my channel very soon. So swing by my fitness channel and check out some of my free workouts.